Ahora vamos al profeta Nahum. Now turn to prophet Nahum, Nahum significa means consolación comfort, o consolation, aliento. Or consolación o aliento. Consolation or breath. Ahora, Now, Jonás Jonah fue mandado por el Eterno para que Nínive se arrepintiera. So would repent, y se arrepintió. And Pero en el caso del profeta Nahum, prophet Nahum ciertamente Nínive volvió a pecar again, y vamos a ver todo lo que sucedió. We are going to see what Entonces, so, es una profecía contra Nínive. Anótenlo. Take Por notes, favor, please. que era la capital de Asiria. Which was the capital of Asiria. Ahora, Now, Sennacherib, Sennacherib, ¿recuerdas? Remember, en Isaías capítulo 14, Isaiah chapter 14, que siempre se ha pensado we have all, que el capítulo 14 have está that hablando de Hasatán, pero Satan, no, está hablando de no, Sennacherib. It is talking about Sennacherib. Y es que And realmente era un diablo. He was really a devil. Anoten, Take notes. por favor. Él invadió y destruyó 46 ciudades en Judá. In Judah. Ahora, Now, en una ocasión, one time, después de rodear Jerusalén, Ciento ochenta y cinco mil soldados de Senacrib murieron en una sola noche. Died in one single night. Entonces él rodeó Jerusalén so he besieged Jerusalem, y ciento ochenta y cinco mil soldados murieron en una sola noche. Died in a single night. Entonces so, Senacrib, Senacrib lo que hizo es regresar is, a Nínive. To go back to Nineveh, a Nineveh. To go back to Nineveh. Ahora, so, cuando estudiemos el profeta Daniel, Daniel, vamos a ver muchos, muchos datos históricos. Entonces, ahí sí les pido que traigan so, please, o una, una libreta nueva para que book, haya mucho espacio donde escribir so muchos datos. Space to write many vamos, things. por favor, a Segunda de Reyes. Second Kings. Vamos para allá. Segunda de Reyes. Second Kings. Y vamos al capítulo 18. Chapter 18. Vamos para allá. Segunda de Reyes 18. Kings, chapter 18. Es segunda de Reyes, capítulo Second 18, Kings, Kings, verso 17. 18, y 18. And 18. Repito, Segunda de Reyes. Second Kings. Capítulo 18, chapter 18, verso 17 y 18. And 18. Después el rey de Asiria envió contra el rey Ezequías a Tartán, al Rapsarís y al Rapsacés, con gran ejército de Laquis, desde Laquis contra Jerusalén, y subieron y vinieron a Jerusalén. Y habiendo subido, vinieron y acamparon junto al acueducto del estanque de arriba, en el camino de la hereda, en el camino de la hereda del lavador. And the king of Assyria sent Tartan and Rapsaris and Rapshakeh from Lachish to the king Hezekiah with a great host against Jerusalem. And they went, went up and came to Jerusalem. And they went and they were come up. They came and stood by the conduit of the upper pool, which is in the highway of the fuller's field. Llamaron luego al rey y salió a ellos Eliakim, hijo de Ilcías, mayordomo, y Sebna, escriba, y Joá, hijo de Asaf, canciller. And when they had called the king, there came out of them Eliakim, the son of Hilkiah, which was over the household of Sebna, the scribe, and jo jo Joah, the son of Asaph, the recorder. Ahora, Now, en, en otra ocasión vamos a hablar sobre las guerras we will also speak about the wars, y va a quedar más completo el estudio, you will understand this más better. comprensible you will de las guerras de Israel. Israel. About the wars of Israel. En este momento vamos a Segunda de Reyes, ahí, capítulo 19, Kings, 19 verso 32, verse 32 al 36. 36. Vamos para allá. Segunda de Reyes 19, Kings, chapter 19 verso 32, verse 32 al 36. 36. Lo va a leer nuestro amado A. Gerardo completo hasta el 36 y luego el A. Gonzalo. Completo todo lo, hasta el 36. Amén. Por tanto, así dice Yahweh acerca del rey de Asiria. No entrará en esta ciudad, 
ni echará saeta en ella, ni vendrá delante de ella con escudo, ni levantará contra ella baluarte. Por el mismo camino que vino volverá, y no entrará en esta ciudad, dice Yahweh, porque yo ampararé esta ciudad para salvarla, por amor a mí mismo y por amor a David mi siervo. Y aconteció que aquella misma noche salió el malac de Yahweh y mató en el campamento de los asirios a 185 mil. Y cuando se levantaron por la mañana, he aquí que todo era cuerpos de muertos. Entonces Enaquerib, rey de Asiria, se fue y volvió a Nínive, donde se quedó. Therefore, thus said Yahweh, concerning the king of Assyria, he shall not come into this city, nor shoot an arrow there, nor come before it with a shield, nor cast a bank against it. By the way that he came, by the same way shall he return, and shall, come into, and shall not come to this city, said Yahweh. For I will defend this city to save it for my own sake, and for my servant David's sake. And it shall come to pass that night that the angel of Yahweh went out and smote the camp of the Assyrians a hundred four score and five thousand and when they arose early in the morning behold they were all dead corpses so Sennacherib king of Assyria departed and went and returned and dwelt at Nineveh Ahora, so, otro profeta que habló sobre ello other prophet that spoke about fue el profeta Isaías was prophet Isaías. vamos para allá en el capítulo Isaiah, 37 chapter 37 y verso 36. Verse 36. Entonces vamos viendo esto. So we're starting this. Los profetas están entrelazados. Prophets have a close relationship. Algunos fueron contemporáneos. Some of them were contemporaries. Otros no. Some others were Otros not. están recordando Some others lo que ya pasó. What already Como un ejemplo as an example para la nación for the nation de Israel. Of Israel. Isaías 37, 36, verse 36. Omenaj. Y salió el malach de Yahweh y mató a 185 mil en el campamento de los asirios. Y cuando se levantaron por la mañana, he aquí que todo era cuerpos de muertos. Then the angel of Yahweh went forth and smote in the camp of the Assyrians a hundred and fourscore and five thousand. And when they arose early in the morning, behold, they were all dead corpses. Ahora. So, Voy a dar un bosquejo del libro de Nahum. About the book of Nahum. La ciudad de Nínive cayó ante los babilonios. Fell before the Babylonians. Pero no nada más ante los babilonios. Not only by the Babylonians, ante los medos but also the y Leeds escitas. And Isithians. Babilonios, Babilonians, medos Meads y escitas. And Scythians. En el año 612. In the book In the year antes de Yahshua HaMashiach. HaMashiach. Ahora, Now, recordemos que Jonás fue y predicó para que se arrepintieran so they would repent, y se arrepintieron. And they repented. Pero But, en el caso de Nahum, in the case of Nahum era ya tal la crueldad otra vez so much cruelty, y entonces el Eterno permitió que fuera destruida. This to be destroyed. Ahora, Now, ¿Por qué se caracterizaba Nínive? What was the characteristic of Nineveh? La Tanaj the Tanakh lo describe como una ciudad as a city, sanguinaria. As a bloody city. Sanguinaria. As a bloody city. Anótenlo. Take notes. Mutilaban they, a sus víctimas they, en vida. They cut off the limbs of the victims. Ahora, so, hay escritos there are writings donde amarraban a la gente where they en unas estacas in a tierra trees, en la tierra on the earth, y entonces on le mutilaban los dedos le mutilaban fingers, la muñeca the la mano wrist, the le hand, mutilaban el antebrazo o sea los hacían sufrir arm, demasiado so eran bárbaros eran verdaderos demonios les cortaban la lengua they cut off the les tongue, cortaban los órganos genitales eran sanguinarios they were bloody. Capítulo 3 de Nahum, Nahum verso 1. Verse 1. Ah, Hay de ti, ciudad sanguinaria, toda llena de mentira y de rapiña, sin apartarte del pillaje. Woe to the bloody city, it is all full of lies and robbery, the prey departed not. Ahora, Now, algo característico también also another characteristic era que la maldad was that wickedness era, estaba a más no poder, was muy grande. Increasing. Entonces sobresalía so, esta ciudad this city was por su maldad. Standing because Capítulo of 3, verso 19. Amén. No hay medicina para tu quebrantadura, no hay medicina para tu quebradura. Tu herida es incurable, 
Todos los que oigan tu fama batirán las manos sobre ti. Porque, ¿sobre quién no pasó continuamente tu maldad? There is no healing of thy bruise. Thy wound is grievous. All that hear the brood of thee shall clap their hands over thee. For upon whom hath not thy wickedness passed continually? Eran totalmente malos, They were totally perversos, evil, wicked, asesinos, assassins, llenos de demonios, demons, sanguinarios a más bloody. no poder. Ahora, so, cuando Nahum profetizó, Judá estaba bajo el yugo asirio. Under the Assyrian joke. A ver, vamos a ver el capítulo 1 y el verso 13. Verse 13. Capítulo 1 y verso 13. Verse 13. Amen. Porque ahora quebraré su yugo de sobre ti y romperé tus coyundas. For now will I break his yoke from off thee and I will burst thy bones in sundry. Ahora now, vamos al capítulo 2, verso 1. Subió destruidor contra ti, guarda la fortaleza, vigila el camino, ciñete los lomos, refuerza mucho tu poder. He that dasheth in pieces is come up before thy face. Keep the munition, watch the way, make thy loins strong, fortify thy power mightily. Bueno, en Judá so in Judah, reinaba Manasés. Man Manasés reinaba. Uf, otro diablo. Another devil. Ya lo vimos. We already ya lo estudiamos. Entonces... So, el libro de Nahum the book of Nahum habla contra Nínive, speaks about Nineveh, su ataque the attack, y su derrota. And the, Entonces el so, libro habla sobre, contra Nínive, it speaks against Nineveh, su ataque its attack, y su derrota. And its destruction. Ahora, Now, voy a mencionarles, y quiero que lo anoten, por favor, como cultura, I algunos de sus líderes. Some of the leaders. Asur Marcipal. Asur Marcipal. Marcipal. O Narcipal, algunos lo escriben con Or, N. Asur Narcipal Asur o Marcipal. Marcipal. 840 Eight, antes de Yahshua. 40 before Joshua. Asur Marcipal. Asur Marcipal. Otro líder Another de Nínive. Sal Manasar. Sal Manasar. 830, 830 antes de Yahshua. Before Yahshua. Esto es más o menos. This más menos. Less or more. Otro líder. Another leader. Arzu Banipal. Banipal. Arzu Banipal. Arzu Banipal. 650 650 años years antes de Yahshua. Before Yahshua. Ahora. Now, quiero hacer la aclaración. I want to clarify this. Este último líder. This last king. Arzu Banipal. Arzu Banipal. Era Ególatra was total, a total egocentric un narcisismo, he was un orgullo narcissistic. He was very total, proud. total, total, he un was loco, totally proud. un demente, he was lleno de demonios. Full of demons. Vamos a ir leyendo el libro We are going to read the book. en el verso, en el capítulo 1, verso 1, Amén. Profecía sobre Nínive, libro de la visión de Naúm de Elcos. The burden of Nineveh, the book of the vision of Nahum, the Elkoshite. Yahweh es Elohim celoso y vengador. Yahweh es vengador y lleno de indignación. Se venga de sus adversarios y guarda enojo para sus enemigos. Elohim is jealous and Yahweh revenges. Yahweh revenges and is furious. Yahweh will take vengeance on his adversaries and he reserveth wrath for his enemies. Yahweh es tardo para la ira y grande en poder y no tendrá por inocente al culpable. Yahweh marcha en la tempestad y en el torbellino. Y las nubes son el polvo de sus pies. Yahweh is slow to anger and a great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. Yahweh has his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and the clouds are the dust of his feet. Ahora este verso Now this habla verse de lo grandioso que es el abacado Yahweh. Verso 4. Él amenaza al mar y lo hace secar y agosta todos los ríos. Basán fue destruido y el calmelo y la flor del Líbano fue destruida. He rebuked the sea and made it dry and dried up all the rivers. Bashan languisheth, Carmel and the flower of Lebanon languisheth. Los montes tiemblan delante de él y los collados se derriten. La tierra se conmueve a su presencia y el mundo y todos los que en él habitan. The mountains quake at him and the hills melt and the earth is burned at his presence. Yea, the world and all that dwell therein. ¿Quién permanecerá delante de su ira? ¿Y quién quedará en pie en el ardor de su enojo? Su ira se derrama como fuego. Y por él se hienden las peñas. 
Who can stand before his indignation, and who can abide in the fierceness of his anger? His fury is poured out like fire, and the rocks are thrown down by him. Yahweh es bueno, fortaleza en el día de la angustia, y conoce a los que en él confían. Yahweh es good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knows them that trust in him. Ahora vamos a hacer una cosa para hacerlo un poquito más práctico. Para los amados Ajim, que hablan inglés, English, tú vas a empezar a leer a, to to read, en el verso 8, verse 8, ya no se va a leer en español, it, it y nosotros con nuestros Spanish, ojos vamos leyendo en español. Amén. Verso 8, Amén. Verse 8. But with an overrunning flood, he will make an utter end to the place thereof, and darkness shall pursue his enemies. What do you imagine against Yahweh? He will make an utter end. Affliction shall not rise up the second time. For while they be folded together as thorns, and while they are drunk as drunkards, they shall be devoured as a stubble fully dry. There is one come out of thee that imagineth evil against Yahweh, a wicked counselor. Thus said Yahweh, so they be quiet, and likewise many, yet thus shall they be cut down. When he shall pass through, so I have afflicted thee, I will afflict thee no more. For now will I break his yoke from off thee, and will burst thy bonds in sunder. And Yahweh has given a commandment concerning thee, that no more of thy name be sown out of the house of thy gods. Will I cut off the graven images, and the molten image I will make thy grave, for thou art vile. Behold, upon the mountains, the feet of him that bringeth good tidings. Thy publisheth peace, O Judah, keep thy solemn feasts, perform thy vows, for the wicked shall no more pass through thee. He is utterly cut off. He that dasheth in pieces is come up before thy face. Keep the munition, watch the way, make thy loins strong, fortify the power mightily. For the Lord Yahweh has turned away the excellency of Jacob as the excellency of Israel. For the emptiers have emptied them out and married their wine, their vine branches. The shield of thy mighty man is made red. The valiant men are in scarlet. The chariots shall be with flaming torches in the day of his preparation, and the fear trees shall be terribly shaken. The chariots shall rage in the streets. They shall jostle one against another in the broad ways. They shall seem like torches. They shall run like the lightnings. He shall recount his worthies. He shall stumble in their walk. They shall make haste to the wall thereof, and the defense shall be prepared. The gates of the rivers shall be opened, and the palace shall be dissolved. And Husa shall be led away captive. He shall be brought up, and her maids shall lead her as with the voice of doves, tabering upon their breasts. But Nineveh is of old like a pool of water, yet they shall flee away. Stand, stand, shall they cry, but no one shall look back. Take you the spoil of silver, take the spoil of gold, for there is no end of the store and glory out of the pleasant furniture. She is empty and void and waste, and the heart melteth, and the knees smite together, and much pain is in all the loins, and the faces of them all gather blackness. Where is the dwelling place of the lions, and the feeding place of the young lions, where the lion, even the old lion, walked? And the lions whelped and made them afraid. The lion did tear in pieces enough for his whelps, and strangled his lioness, and filled his holes with prey, and his dens with raven. Behold, I am against thee, said Yahweh of hosts. I will burn her chariots in the smoke, and the sword shall devour thy young lions, and I will cut off thy prey from the earth, and the voice of thy messengers shall no more be heard. Chapter 3. Amen. Okay. Right. So now... Algo que nos, nos llama la atención Something es el, 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 el capítulo 1, verso 15. Chapter 1, verse 15. Dice, celebra, oh Judá, tus fiestas. Celebrate of Judah, thy feasts. Cumple tus votos. Fulfill thy vows. Porque nunca más volverá a pasar por el ti el malvado. For the wicked shall no more pass through thee. Pereció del todo. He is utterly cut off. Se estaba refiriendo a Nínive. It was referring to Nineveh. En el capítulo 2, verso 8, chapter 2, verse 8 fue en Nínive de tiempo antiguo como Nineveh, estanque de aguas. Is of old, like a pool of water. Pero ahora estaba vacía, agotada en el verso 10. But now it was empty y desolada. And desolate. Seguimos con el 3. Ah. Chapter 3. Amen. Woe to the bloody city. It is, it, it is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departed not. The noise of a whip and the noise of rattling of the, of the wheels and of the prancing horses and the jumping chariots. The horsemen, the horsemen lifted up both the bright sword and the glittering spear, 
and there is a multitude of slain and a great number of carcasses, and there is no end of their corpses. They stumble upon their corpses because of the multitude of the horridums of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts that selleth nations through her horridums and families through her witchcrafts. Behold, I am against thee, said Yahweh of hosts. I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show the nations thy nakedness, and the kingdoms thy shame. I will cast abominable filth upon thee, make thee vile, and will set thee as a gassing stock. And it shall come to pass that all they that look upon thee shall flee from thee and say, Nineveh is laid waste, who will bemoan her? Whence shall I seek comforters for thee? Are thou better than populous? No, that was situate among the rivers that had the waters round about it, whose rampart was the sea, and her wall was from the sea. Ethiopia and Egypt were her strength, and it was infinite, and Put and Lubim were helpers. Yet was she carried away, she went into captivity. Her young children also were dashed in pieces at the top of all the streets, and they cast lots for her honorable men, and all her great men were bound in chains. Thou also shalt be drunken, thou shalt be healed, thou shalt, shalt seek strength because of the enemy. All thy strongholds shall be like fig trees with first ripe figs. If they be shaken, they shall even fall to the mouth of the eater. Behold, thy people in the midst of thee are women. The gates of thy land shall be set wide open unto thine enemies, and the fire shall devour thy bodies. Draw the waters from the siege, fortify thy strongholds, go into clay and tread the mortar, make strong the bricklin. There shall the fire devour thee, the sword shall be cut off, and it shall eat thee up like the canker worm. Make thyself many as the canker worm, make thyself many as the locusts. Thou sh hast multiplied thy Americans above the stars of heaven, and the canker worm spoiled and fleeth away. They crowned are as the locusts, and thy captains as the great grasshoppers, which camp in the hedges of the cold day. But when the sun ariseth, they flee away, and their place is not known where they are. Thy shepherds slumber, O king of Assyria, thy nobles shall dwell in the dust. Thy people is scattered upon the mountains, and no man gathereth them. There is no healing in thy bruise, thy wound is grievous, all that he... All that hear the brood of thee shall, be, shall clap their hands over thee. For upon whom has not thy wickedness passed continually? Entonces, no había remedio ya para Nínive. So there was no remedy for Nínive. Ningún remedio. No remedy. En el verso, en el capítulo 3, verso 4. Chapter 3, verse 4. A causa de la multitud de las fornicaciones. Because of the multitude of the horridoms. De la, ram, la, de la ramera de, hermoso, de hermosa gracia. Of the well-favored harlot. Maestra en hechizos. The mistress of witchcraft. Que seduce a las naciones. That sells nations. Con sus fornicaciones. Through her horridoms. Y a los pueblos con sus hechizos. And families through her witchcrafts. Verso 6. Y echaré sobre ti mundicias. And I will cast y te afrentaré. Filth upon y te pondré. And I will make divide, como estiércol. And I will set thee Ahora. As spectacle. En la, so, en la en lección siguiente. The next lesson. Primeramente el eterno el próximo culto. Will, this next service, vamos a entender más cosas. More things, entrando con el siguiente profeta. About the next prophet. Y una vez que estudiemos las, study, las guerras the wars del pueblo de Israel, of the of Israel entenderemos todavía mejor, bendito es el nombre de Yahweh, Yahweh. muchas cosas más, Many amados aquí. Things, brothers, Ahora, now, cierren su, su libreta, your guarden your su Tanaj. And your tanaj. Bueno, ni well, nieve era malvada. Nineveh was wicked. Pero Yahweh la destruyó. Yahweh Así él destruirá destroy, a todos los perversos, wicked, a todos los inicuos, a todos los que hacen maldad. Those, those y precisamente nosotros vamos a, a escuchar el toque del shofar que van a ser nuestros amados ajim. Todos nos ponemos de pie. Flow. And we are going to para que el Eterno por su inmensa raje so use el toque de Shofar que se va a hacer y el llamado al arrepentimiento tanto de la casa de Judá como de la casa de Israel